The Bishop of Hereford brutally roasts Meghan on a BBC documentary, Meghan the Liar. Meghan Markle's claim that the royals aren't huggers has been proven wrong in new pictures. The Markle made the claim during the Harry and Meghan docuseries in December 2022, when speaking about the first time that she met Prince William and Princess Kate, saying that hugs were really jarring for a lot of Brits. But festive pictures of the royal family at Sandringham seem to have disproved her claims, with one image showing Prince George being hugged by former World Cup winning England rugby player Mike Tyndall. It came as Tyndall, who's married to Zara, a granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth II via Princess Anne, joined the Prince and Princess of Wales as well as their children on the walk to St Mary Magdalene Church at Sandringham. The picture of Tyndall with his arm around George went viral on Twitter after it was liked more than 3,000 times and viewed more than 118,000 times, prompted Meghan's comments to resurface. The post was accompanied by a quote from the Duchess of Sussex which read, Like, I was a hugger, I've always been a hugger, I didn't realise that that's really jarring for the Brits. Her full comment from the Netflix series which discusses the moment she met the Prince and Princess of Wales was, When Will and Kate came over and I was meeting her for the first time, I remember I was in ripped jeans, I was barefoot. Like, I was a hugger, I've always been a hugger. I didn't realise that that's really jarring for a lot of Brits. I started to understand that the formality on the outside carried through on the inside. Meghan was putting thoughts into Harry's mind since the beginning. Or of course Meghan wrote this. Not wanting to hug a stranger doesn't equate to wanting a curtsy. Looking at how William was with Chelsea Davy, you wouldn't think he wanted her to curtsy to him. So why would he expect Meghan to? During a documentary about King Charles III's coronation, Richard Jackson, Bishop of Hereford, also gave a slightly different impression of the royals. I think what struck me particularly is how extraordinarily affectionate they are, he told BBC film King Charles III the coronation year. They're clearly a very close family of all the generations, and in a sense she felt you were part of a family occasion, as well as a royal occasion and a national occasion. His words were played over images of the king greeting William and Kate with a hand on the arm and a kiss on both cheeks. Kate also curtsies to the king in the clip. Sorry Meghan, no one wanted to hug you because they don't know you, and once they knew you, they definitely didn't want to hug you. What a liar. Harry and Meghan can plan and scheme all their shock revelations and public appearances, but they have no idea how to live a real life. Although it must shake Harry up seeing these church photos and remembering his own childhood walks to church with his cousins and all of the associated memories. If there is such a thing as inheriting generational pain or genetic pain as Harry calls it, there must also be generational joy where that family Christmas morning has followed the same pattern for maybe a hundred years. After several years of family strain, Claims and allegations from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in the rearview mirror for Princess Kate and Prince William, and there's no sign of reconciliation between the two couples. She's moved on, and William has too, a friend of Kate's tells People in this week's issue. She's very focused on what matters going forward. They aren't looking back. <laughs>